at this point, if we go back to the CLI just real quick and do another ORCA VM list, you're going to notice that your, your container was destroyed, the build was completed, it's all done, it's all gone, and you're back to the one manual container that you created that Jenkins doesn't affect. So, you know, per the instructions here, what they're wanting us to do now is use another VM to test out this build that we've created. So we're going to go to this long-standing VM that we have, the one that's not ephemeral, and we're going to VNC into it, and then we're going to go to use a shortcut to get to, to our Jenkins instance here, download it, and run it in the simulator. So we go back to Mac OS, we open the screen, I'm logged in from before um, because I never logged out on this particular VM. If you open Safari, we've created a convenient shortcut for the dashboard so you don't need to remember what's in the tutorial, but it's in the tutorial if you can't remember. If you click on that, it goes to the Jenkins cluster you have access to. You're going to click on that pipeline and you're going to see this simulator app zip file. This is the build artifact from your previous build. If you click on that, you're going to see that it pops in Safari and downloads to the local system. So at this point, we have the local build um, delivered to this machine. We're going to open up the simulator. Um, that's going to load and we're going to have our simulated iPhone success come up. Uh, once it is loaded and while it's loading, I'm going to go into our downloads folder here and we see that we have this artifact from our build. Uh, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to right click on this and we're going to share that with our simulator which gives the simulator access to the build artifact. You can see it loading. It's ready. Now I can click over. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I can open it up on the simulation. And now I've got our iOS game that we just built with Jenkins on Orca in an ephemeral container. Um, you can drag these numbers around. It's a drag and drop game. Trying to create a score and reset. You can test, you can play, but we've just completed a build. So, you know, it, it's pretty straightforward, but a lot's happening in the background, right? Um, Orca has been using Kubernetes to actually instantiate a real time container pod with Mac OS inside of it, have your Jenkins resources connected to it, use that for build, clean up after itself. Uh, have that instance available to you for tests um, and, and you can see all the things you've built and done. Now when you're done playing with the app here you can shut the simulator down and you can minimize the screen. Um, at the end of that you've pretty much gone through a full iOS build here with me uh, with the Orca cluster.